I'm Dr. Michael Hartley. Hey, I'm Fox. And today, do you actually know the importance of planning? So Fox, real quick question. Like, when you look at planning, what are some things in life that you've really had to plan for? Well, when I was in college, I really had to plan for getting work done and planning for my time for when I actually have schoolwork and work because I still have to make money. Other times, planning has been really important. I come from construction, so the way construction works is you plan it out a few months ahead, you think who's going to go working on the property, and by the end of it, you should already have it on the real estate market and be thinking about your next job. What would what would construction be like if you didn't actually have a plan? It would be hectic. You you wouldn't know where to start. You wouldn't know what's next. You wouldn't have a realistic time frame, and all the workers and different contractors and employees would just be taking their time, coming and going as they please. So the the blueprint to building a house or whatever you might be building, super critical. Yes, literally, you need a blueprint to build a house. Have you seen how that of uh, you know uh, uh, applies to life? Yeah, that applies to everything in life. You you want to become a doctor, you have to plan. What do you need to do? You need to go to school. You need to study certain topics. You need to plan. Okay, certain expenses. School isn't cheap. If it was cheap, everyone would be doing it. <laughs> and yet, for whatever reason, you get out of this learning mode as soon as you finish college and all of a sudden it's like, okay, I'm just gonna kind of wing it, right? Life is like, okay, I got a job, and <laughs> at least uh, what I've seen. I'll actually cut it there. Most people, as soon as they get out of college, I'm gonna have a job, and most of it's a few months later, how do I get a job? Or how do I get a job <laughs> I want? Or that makes sense for my degree. <laughs> Which is planning going forward versus planning with the end in mind and working back. And, when you do that, when it's the, okay, well, I got, I just gotta go get a job, right? I, I finished this degree, now what? I'm planning forward, and it's super, uh, you know, short-minded. You're not really thinking in the future, okay, what's the next 10 steps I gotta go do? It's just, okay, well, I gotta go do something today. Yeah, it's kind of, the way you said it is, there's steps that you need to set in place. Most people, it's kind of like, uh, I guess you would say cause and effect. I graduated college, what's next? versus going, this is where I want my life to end up being. Mm -hmm. How do I actually get there? Yeah, or what's my ideal job or what's my ideal uh, employer? How do I make that possible? I've had the opportunity recently to be talking with kids in, you know, kind of junior, senior age in, in high school. And 100% of what they're thinking is, I'm going to have to have a job one day. And what's interesting is when you actually get people to think bigger and go, well, what would life be like if you were the employer versus the employee? You may need to be an employee for a little bit because you gotta go learn some stuff and grow and get experience and mature. With that said though, if you actually went and got jobs or you know tried to be recruited into a job that would help you eventually become an employer, how different would you actually approach that's a mindset I would say most people don't have, or at least me growing up, most people didn't have. I know social media has kind of kicked things off to a different mindset within the past two to three years where it's really gotten younger people thinking, how do I start my own business? How do I become my own boss? But most people, it's kind of just like, that's crazy, or you're only born rich, or you know what, it's one in a million. It's luck. It happens overnight for some people. No? It, realistically? I've learned in this new position I'm at is if you plan for it, it's totally achievable. It might not happen tomorrow, but it will happen. Most people, I know Dr. Harley always tells me, most people overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what could be done in five to 10. And realistically, that's the way most people think. And I do catch myself thinking like that at times too. It's because most people are just focused on what do I need to do today? It's that short mindedness. and. So as an example, one of the things that we like to do with our clients is help them really think out 20 years in the future. Most people don't think, where am I gonna be in 20 years? Where do I want to be in 20 years? Because a lot can happen in that time frame. So you really start to think, okay, and, and there's a right and you know there's a right way to kind of process through that. And there's specific areas of your life that you really need to think through. It's not just like, oh, I just want to be here or there. It's it's a lot of different areas of, of life. Mm -hmm. And then it's a matter of going, okay, now that I know 
where I want to get to? What does the business now need to give me and be doing each year, quarter, month, week, day? And getting down to that level of granularity is critical uh, for testing and measuring and tracking purposes. So you know, okay, where are we off? Where are we on point? Uh, now we're no longer planning moving forward. You see, that's where the importance of planning starts to kick in is when you actually have clarity on where I'm going, the destination, now I can go, you know, we, we teach dream, goal, learn, plan, act. Dream. Dream 20 years in the future. What, what is the ideal life that you want? Dream. Then goal. What are the big milestones and goals that you need to achieve between now and 20 years from now to know that you're on target? And then you gotta go learn a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Because if you already know how to accomplish it, it's not a dream, it's not a true goal, it's just a to-do item. So, and, and really, if you already know how to do it, you should just be doing it. Yeah. So you gotta go learn a whole bunch of stuff. And that could be from mentors, that could be from coaches, that could be from education or workshops or seminars or webinars or TED Talks. Find people who are already at that level of life. And go surround yourself with that individual. They will push you towards it. Uh, one of my mentors, Brad, he, t he says, you know, very plainly, dreams are the easiest way to weed out the morons in your life. Because when you actually share your dreams with somebody, if they tell you, oh yeah, you're, you're dreaming too big, that's never gonna happen, thanks, next, I don't yeah. need you. Yeah, you don't need that kind of negativity, you don't need that mindset in your life. Because everything is pretty, it's so cheesy, and I know it sounds like mumbo jumbo, but pretty much mindset is what will determine your outcome in life. If you think you're a dumbass, just a lazy piece of crap, that's pretty much all you're gonna be, because that's how you see yourself. You see yourself confident, you see yourself smart, you start becoming that person. I'm not saying be cocky and say you know it all even though you don't, but slowly start learning who it is you want, who it is you are, and who it is you want to become. There you go. That's really well stated. Who you want to become. And when you actually share those dreams and you find people to surround yourself with that will push you towards them, mm -hmm. now you actually can make progress. And especially in business, as a business owner, you know, oftentimes it's one of the loneliest jobs in the world is being a business owner. Totally agree. You can't necessarily sh share your weakest moments with your team and things because, well, they're your team, right? And you don't necessarily want to bring it home because that's not good either. And so you have to surround yourself with people who have been there, who have walked through those shoes before, who can help guide you through those situations. So when we talk about the importance of planning and do you actually know the importance of planning, this is why. You gotta have that end destination in mind. Surround yourself with people that are gonna help you learn the things you don't know, that close that gap, and then you can go create the plan. Mm -hmm. Now we can sit together and we can go, okay, what's the plan to get us there? All the way down to what needs to be done this quarter, all the way down to what needs to be done this month, this week, down to the day. If you don't get down to that level of granularity the day, especially if you're not already hitting your goals, you're kind of winging it still because it's just a matter of going, well, at the end of the week, we're gonna figure out how well we did versus going, okay, Monday and Tuesday, we didn't hit our goals. We gotta correct it on Wednesday. I, I have one question for you. What's the one thing that anybody can do to be able to start being on that track of planning? Simple thing, doesn't matter if you're a billionaire or just a kid in middle school or high school right now. What's the one thing you could do to start getting you on that path? The very first thing is to go through the end in mind. Starting with the end in mind. Start at the end and go, okay, where do I want to be? So 2040, we're about to conclude 2019 mm -hmm. in about four months from the date that this is being recorded. Mm -hmm. So 2040, where do I want to be? What does life look like? Where am I at? What does my income look like? What are my investments at this point in life? What are the things that I know that I don't know today? What is my health like? Uh, relationships, what does that look like? I mean, you just start going through each level of life and bring clarity to where you actually wanna be. That's the very, very first step. Uh, then you start to work through the rest of that in process uh, down to the point where you're then ready 
to get with somebody to figure out what do I need to be doing per day right now to get me there, and then you start taking action. I, I like the word you use, clarity, because that means it's you being truthful and honest with yourself. You need to be honest and say, this is who I really am, this is my real life, this is my real situation. What do I want to do to either better myself, continue the life I'm living, or get myself in a way better circumstance that's going to excel me to a life that I'm happy with and where I truly want to be. So what have you seen get in the way of people setting big dreams and goals and planning? Usually their own mindset. I would say that probably number one. Number two is usually mom and dad or friends and family, even girlfriend and wife kind of shooting holes in any plan, any big idea, because you know what? Everyone says life isn't easy. Yeah, that's totally impossible. It can't be done. But we've both seen how quick results can really happen when you set a plan and just take action in motion and really go that I need to do this. I need to survive. I need to succeed. I want to achieve my goals. I found that there's only really two things in life that you can control your thoughts and your actions. And so everything starts with mindset, to your point. Everything starts with that. And you know, what's like what's one thing that we start with when it comes to shifting your mindset? I am statements. Absolutely. Every single day, positive reinforcement of current or future tense of going, I am blank, or I'm in the process of filling that blank. Mm -hmm. Then you get to the the other part that you can control, which is your actions. I, I coach people every single week on going, you either, if you're not achieving your goals, you either have a bad plan or a lack of action. You can have the best plan in the world and no action, nothing's gonna take place. You can have the worst plan in the world with a ton of action and now you're going <laughs> in the wrong direction. So you gotta have both a good plan and good action. And yeah, it really is. You just start to go, okay, about progress over perfection. Consistent progress, even if I'm, like if I shoot for here, and I end up hitting here, mm -hmm. and before I even set the plan, I was here, that's still progress. Yeah, you still, you still, you totally didn't hit the goals that you set place, but you're halfway there, you're almost there, you made a step further. Absolutely, and what you'll start to learn through that process is then how to break through the barriers and roadblocks that caused you to miss the goals. So, you know, you look at the best athletes in the world, they didn't start by hitting every single shot. They didn't start by being the person to hit all the buzzy, buzzer beaters in, in basketball or throwing the Hail Marys at the end of a football game and things like that. That's not where they started. They started by setting, okay, that's where I wanna be. I wanna win championships and stuff like that. And so this year I'm gonna focus on, I'm, I'm shooting for it and if, I, if I'm short, now I can learn from it. Mm -hmm. Five years down the road, now I'm winning championships because now I've learned how to break through those barriers and stuff like that. And business is no different. So, mindset is a skill set. You gotta focus on things like I am statements and whatnot to shift your mindset. Then you gotta create big dreams. Where are we going with this whole thing? Set the goals, the milestones to get you there. Work with somebody on how to actually learn the gaps to close them, and then you create the plan and take action. Totally. So, when you look at, do you actually know the importance of planning? This is it. The importance of planning is to know where you're home, where you're going, where you're headed, how to get there, and then you need someone to hold you accountable to actually taking action. Very few people are good at coaching themselves. Most people need accountability and things like that anyways. Everyone needs accountability. Whether it's you holding yourself to a certain standard or having the person right next to you holding you to a standard. Everyone needs accountability. So the question becomes, who's doing that for you? I'm Dr. Michael Hartley. I'm Fonz. And this was an episode of Do You Actually Know? Do You Actually Know the Importance of Planning? I hope to see it now, why it's important. So you have some critical steps now, go take action. <laughs>